Hey everybody, David Geisler here, <laughs> um, host of another Zelda podcast, and this is the Palace of Darkness. Going in. <laughs> Let's see here. So, oops, this is the first of the Dark World. It's been a while, I'll admit, full disclosure, I'm doing this voiceover and it's been maybe a month or so since I played it, so some of this I don't fully recall. But obviously, you know, the beginning here makes it feel... Ah, yes, yes, yes. I remember getting the being full hearts going in. I was very grateful for that. Did that button not do anything? Did that button not do anything? Or did it open the door down there? Okay, we're going down. I remember for the most part liking Palace of Darkness. It seemed pretty clear that I was going to have to get a hammer. There we go. Going for the treasure. I don't think I have the hammer yet. Oh yeah, that is just open that door. Okay. So kept on going. I'm gonna move my mic. A little tile. Another tile, but that's interesting. What? Well, I must go back and forth. I remember somewhere along the way here, I learned that you could push those statues. That was... that blew my mind. Right, all the telep... oh, I remember this. Oof. Mm-hmm. Right, it's very clear that that little teleporter is going to bring you back. I think I'm just testing it out here. There we go. But that's obviously a clue that there's going to be one somewhere else that'll bring you to there. So we go back in. And, um... Oh, I see a triangle up there. Don't do it, David. Go get the triangle. Still trying to figure out what is... I see a bomb wall down there at the bottom right now. I don't know if, when I saw it in real life or when I played it. And can you hear me? I'm locked in Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. But please hurry. Part of me, I remember being a little confused, like, oh, should I go there now? If I don't, okay, good, I do see it. There we go. I really don't want to lose the full hearts. I'm trying to stay protected. The jellies. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Hero time. Nice. There you go. And also, so this is interesting too. I remember immediately thinking, like, am I supposed to bomb? You know, all the cracked walls. Clearly, that's a bomb crack right there. Ugh. But am I supposed to go down that hole or not? I don't remember if I try or not. I think I tried eventually. But I would be inclined. Oh, I'm trying to hit the wall. So I'm trying to throw it so that it hits the wall in the back. A little bit like you do in Ocarina of Time. But... <clears throat> he pondered it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I had a hard time with these guys. I mean, I get it. It's pretty easy. Um, but when they start shooting the fireballs out at you. A little bit of slowdown here. So I've said this in other videos. I'm playing this game on the Super Nintendo uh, Classic system or the Super Nintendo Mini. And I'm sending it through a HDMI screen recorder. And my screen recorder... Not, I guess it's not a screen recorder, is it? Um... It's just an HDMI recorder. Yep, that's not going to work. And sometimes I think the software that I use get, chugs up a little bit. What? I didn't do it? Is this, is this, does this have to be arrows in the back? <laughs> when in doubt, use the lightning. Didn't do a dang thing. Cool. No, just keep using up that magic, Dave. Mm hmm So I think I remember, I eventually I try to distance myself from this guy as much as possible so that maybe I have time to dodge. Like, yeah, okay, here, this might be what's going on. Oh, and I remember in Minish Cap, which I've played before this game, you could hang on to an arrow and essentially strafe. But you can't do that in this game. They didn't have that yet. But the, the arrow strafing is fantastic in Minish Cap. It's, it would come in handy in this situation. David? Really? Oh, smooth. Smooth. 
Let's just test this hole. Now here we go. I'm not gonna have full hearts. Get on in there. We've gone right, we've gone left. I hope I choose center. Yeah, there we go. Getting ready with that boomerang. It's always my staple. I have a key. Yeah, okay, cool. Got it from that channel to the left there. That feels like that should be a I think the hammers flip those eventually. I thought I was hoping maybe my shield would do it. That's I'm sure you have to fall down that hole to get to something, but I'm trying to not do it just yet. Oh yeah, this is the first time I learned about how you can jump down. I had never experienced this before. I thought I had to power run and jump. I didn't realize later until later. <laughs> this is the road. It's called the Rainbow Road. good at that that's obviously a one-way oh really that doesn't even bump them the blocks are a one-way trip back so you have to jump down over here i don't know how to get rid of this pink guy he's tracking but he's getting stuck there there it is go nothing did i get game over this is this is on par with my skill set with this game <laughs> i've spoken about how i'm not very good at a link to the past i did enjoy it for this playthrough, my first real playthrough through the game, which I did for um, our season two finale episode, where in which Kate and I uh, essentially reviewed the game. It was our first time playing it for the both of us. It was our one game of shame. And it's such a special game to so many people that after a while we felt certainly obligated to have it be part of our repertoire. I think that was an accident, but here goes. Ooh, it only moves once? That's weird. It's so funny, these puzzles. Oh, there's that leg. Get out of there. There we go. And that's what returns us. So you gotta start mapping this in your head. Um, yeah, there's something about the, I wouldn't call it physics, but the engine of A Link to the Past. It's just a little touchy for me. I also have a hard time playing Super Mario World, which I think is a great game. Um, but I do much better with the Mario 3 engine. And then, honestly, these days I've gotten so used to the new Super Mario Brothers engine because of Super Mario Maker. In Super Mario Maker, you still play with the new Super Mario Brothers physics, even in the other even in the old school aesthetics, even if you play Mario World. So when I do play real Mario World, ooh, I'm tempted. Try it, David. I'm trying to see what's below. Feels like I've been there already. All right, I gotta get there before the pink guy. Knock him off. Get there, run. Keep it moving. Just trying to, just on the run, trying to see what I'm supposed to do with this room. Is this one of those, like, defeat all the enemies puzzles? It might be, huh? Feels like it a little bit. Oh, no, it's probably just hitting the red thing down there. That's what it is. I'm just not seeing it. David, if you go out of here. Boomerang. Boomerang the red thing. Why am I not... Coolsies. <laughs> Can't go up, gotta go sideways. Yeah, this feels like a master door, a master key door, like the boss is after this. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, it's usually you find, it's a little bit of the Wind Waker-ness of it all. But whenever you find a bucket of hearts in front of a door, it's usually because you're going to be facing something. And I, I remember that sticking out to me, that statue, being able to move that statue more than once. It seems pretty obvious now. There we go. But a lot of times when you push these blocks in the 2D Zelda games, you can only push them one time. You know, Link to the Past here uh, in Link's Awakening. More of this. Oh, with this is interesting because we've got the two statues up in the corner. I wonder if you could use that to your advantage. Let's see how I do. Yep, I'm, I'm trying to do the 
arrow strafing here. I remember really thinking I could, but you can't. It wasn't invented yet. Uh-huh. So my strategy here, I'm playing around with the idea of like, maybe for the amount of time it takes for my arrow to get over there, can I run? The fireball moves faster than the arrow, I was noticing. At least it felt that way. I thought maybe I could get him to fire at me from the other side. I mean, thinking about it now, couldn't I just hold down my sword and then back up into him and then, you know, power slash or whatever it is, him? I was dead set on the arrow strategy, though. So, let's see. Oh, I remember being a little nervous about getting rid of the skulls because I thought maybe that's part of the puzzle. Maybe I'm supposed to use the skull to stop him from, you know, walking. Could I get him clipped onto the skull or something? It's just not going to work, Dave. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I was using the arrows as a hint, too, because they kept... There! Okay, that's exactly what I was trying to do. I think I still got hit by the fireball. There we go. Oh, it worked! I remember trying it. I didn't realize. I didn't realize it. Um, it worked. I couldn't remember. This one's very clear. Just trap the thing. Oh, this is a bomb. I gotta put a bomb over there. I don't know if I do it. Because it's cool. Because the bombs can also activate those red and blue. Looking balls, whatever they are, switch, switch globes, <laughs> and it's it's neat how you can do that because you can take advantage of that. You can have it be like a timed trigger by having a bomb be there and then trigger the switch globe. Obviously, I'll be going down here. I'm just trying to keep, stay oriented, I believe. Oh, yep. This is so obviously. It's so obvious you need the hammer here. I didn't even. Wasn't even fully sure, but I was like, look at these things. It's whack-a-mole. You're going to need a hammer. So right now, that was a total dead end. Come on, Dave. Trigger it. And I'm trying to remember if this was before or after, because I had a real, I spoke about this in the episode, I had a real mess up here. I did not get the Moon Pearl when I originally played um, Tower of Hera. And I think by not getting the Moon Pearl, somehow that means you don't get the hammer. Ooh, I'm losing track. See, even right now, it makes me wonder if I could use a bomb to, like, do it. Try it. Do the hole. Where else are you going to go? Do it. Do it. There we go. Come on. Nothing? <gasps> you have to bomb it. Fine. Mm-hmm. And I have a key, nice. Cool. Is this another key? Oh, this is the master key. All right, big key, big key. Now it's about getting to the, the hammer situation. I'm trying to figure this out. It, I'm doing this real right now. I haven't watched this video since I recorded it. So this is a pretty organic, um, Commentary. Mm -hmm. Sure. I think I'm running out of places to go here. Yeah, total surprise that I could move that one statue. It's just gonna 
bring you down to the teleporters. But sometimes with a Zelda dungeon, when you're when you're really lost, you can oh, more clipping. You just have to keep building that mental map, and so walking around will do it for you. Nothing here. So this is this is a dead end at this point. I have to remember never to go to the left anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now, what I'm thinking about. <laughs> yep, that's not gonna work. It's all this clipping. Maybe I'll... kid. I die so much in this game. All right, let's reassess. Where are we going? Where are we going? I can't go in the up, up to the upper right. I need the hammer. I can't remember if the hammer is the... Oh, the item is the magic hammer. You get it halfway through this thing, so I find it here somewhere. Yes, I'm remembering now. I got stuck with the Moon Pearl situation before coming here. I couldn't get here without the Moon Pearl, if I remember correctly. So I'm past all of that already. In that last video, I did cut and show myself going back for the Moon Pearl. So let's crack this code. Let's figure this out. This one's all in the dungeon. We're not going outside of the dungeon. What am I missing? Fighting for your life. Three arrows. Or three hearts. Nope, nothing. There you go. Man, I wonder if I could throw a bomb down to that blue globe switch. Now that's interesting. Look at that treasure there to the right. I think I'm sure I'm checking that out right now. Nothing there. Hmm. Then the thing with the statue. But I don't really need to go up. I might try it anyway. Really? Yeah. When in doubt. Oh wow! Yeah, there's a little bomb crack in the lower left there. I don't. I'm sure I didn't see it at first. Right. Oh, we're not gonna get it there. It's to get that other treasure chest right there. That's just barely in the lower right. There's two of them down there. Maybe you saw. Touchy. In the uh, the desert palace, pushing those blocks, having those blocks not trigger for a push, really threw me off. It sent me on a thirty minute spiral, walking around the place thinking I had missed something, but all I needed to do, I just didn't push a block quite correctly. You know what? I never. Went, I don't know if I actually went all the way up here. I didn't because remember that first time I fell off with the block. Okay. Now a normal key. Trying to figure out how to get to that treasure chest. That's to come back around. Big, big flat dungeon here, huh? Not a lot of levels. We have a basement and a first floor. So could I put? So should, could I switch that blue thing to red? Whoa, whoa, David! It's not going to do anything for you, but that was cool. What? <laughs> I'm out of here. I really feel like that was an accident. Get my bearings. Back 
to here. Let's try it out. Should be nothing here. Oh no, there's the bomb. Go down. Yes. All right. I kind of remember this hallway really giving me some options. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, that was a rookie mistake. Everybody knows. There's electricity. Oh yeah, what was the problem up here? It's just a real hole. Try bombing it. Let's see if anything breaks open. It doesn't. Those small cracks. Just, oh, oh, maybe I died in here. Maybe I didn't move move forward. I'm do, going to do the same strategy, aren't I? Finally, going to try this. There you go. The magic sword situation. Can I do it to the red guy? I don't... I've Dave... Okay. Oh, man. I'm sure this isn't... If this works like it did last time, I'm sure this is not the intended way to defeat these guys. There's one. One to the neck. <laughs> How many more arrows do I have? I mean, we'll take it. I think I didn't go up here, did I? That's what I missed. Nothing. Those are just those are deceiving. Those those cracks are lies. Keep moving, Dave. Hmm. This window is really shaky in this recording, in this room I'm recording in. All right, now we're getting somewhere new. <laughs> I don't know if that was the best choice. When in doubt, power run. There we go. Half a heart. Fantastic. Okay, right. Yes, this brings us here. A map. If I don't go to the left, I'm very upset. Take it. Very careful. Marvelous. And I'm sure now I'm going to forget about going to the left and going to that, that treasure chest. Well, let's... Okay, starting over. Let's try a new path. At least I can see the rooms. Okay, we've got some new information. What to do, what to do. Beeline in it for the main room. We should go up left. Nope. Gonna go up right. Careful. Oh, every time. Every time. Yep, just get out of there. Just trying to get reoriented. I would cut up through the top middle again, I think, here. That's what I would try to do. Oh, I gotta go back to that. I'm probably forgetting about it in real life as I was playing this, but I have to go back to that treasure chest. Oh, I haven't even, we haven't even seen the big, the main item, the, the hammer, the main item, uh, like, I almost said suitcase, that's funny. Um, treasure chest, yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right, this is gonna be new for us. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go up. There we go. We got a key for that door. Oh, this was fun. This is the Indiana Jones. Uh... Yep. <laughs> Thanks for triggering it. Run for your life. Go. There's the item. There's the hammer. Get out of there. So I need another key. I'm sure. Okay. This is coming back. Please be a key. Compass. Please show me where a key is. Two doors down to the basement. Interesting. Here we go. So that's the boss. What is this? Yeah. Chased by this. Okay, there's our key. What's up? Go to the left. What are you doing, Dave? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
in your house. Okay, who cares? Is there a door over here? This is going to be the door that goes back up, of course. Okay. That's kind of weird. Puddles of gems. So I've got the key. I don't know if I want it to go down there, but oh well. I wonder if I can move those statues. Do I try? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get the thing out of there. Rupees. I don't think you should go down there, Dave. It's not going to go anywhere. We know there's not a floor below this. If he... Okay, thank you. <laughs> no! Why? Why would you do that? I guess I was just testing things out. I'm in the basement. Mm -hmm. There, I, I, wasn't there a... Where was that other key door? And, you know, if, if I only had enough time to actually find these puzzles. Back in. Here we go. Totally getting disoriented again. Where do we go for the key? With the key. Oh, it's in the upper left there on the first floor, isn't it? I don't know if I'm seeing it right now as I'm playing it. But it's over by that pink. That pink thing is the hammer on the first floor. That's a little weird. I think this, this is just a, this is a loop, but I'm obviously not recognizing that yet. Maybe I'm a little flustered. It's not a loop. Go down. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm kind of missing this game now. It's been a little bit of time. I'm very excited to. I better come up with a different strategy here. I do not need to see. Hey, that's not bad. That's all it takes. Learning as I go. Very excited. I was about to say I'm very, very excited to play um, A Link Between Worlds. I own it. I played the first five minutes, but I didn't want to go any further because I really wanted to finish this game first. And I don't want to just half play Link Between Worlds. I want to like save it for our, maybe save it for our review episode. But maybe I'll start playing it a little early. I don't know. There, get, please get to the left. Can't go down. Actually, I already got that. I think, did I already get the... <laughs> there we go. It's not a bomb. You think it's a bomb, it's not. I just can't help but... Oh, it was! What? That... Oh, cool. The little crack was a bomb this time. I like that. Collect those fairies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yes, please. Fantastic. Sorry, fairies. Cool. There we go. One more key, one more key, one more key. Get out of there. Just go down. Who says I'm going to run for it? I'm sure I'm going to run for it. <laughs> Almost. It's never going to work. I'm glad I came down here. I probably should look at the map soon. It's just to... Right now, as I watch, I can't keep track of where the other 
key door was. Again, remember, you know, I, I'm, I do need to have a little bit of a disclaimer here. I'm sure any of you watching this, you've played um, A Link to the Past many, many times, and I'm sure you love it. And thank you so much for having patience with me as I stumble through. But I think it's also kind of interesting. The reason I'm doing this series, as I've said in some of the other videos, is um, for someone who's someone who's played Ocarina and Skyward and Wind Waker and Twilight and even Minish Cap. And um, my first game ever was Link's Awakening to play all these games that were adjacent or inspired or informed by A Link to the Past. Here we go. Get that hammer, David. Up and over. This is the moment. This is the moment. Run, 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 run. Don't, don't die. Okay. Um, are you kidding me? Yes, do not try. Come on. Here, fairy, fairy, fairy. I'm not going to eat you. I remember being pretty stressed about this, actually, right here. So I was kind of starting to put it together. Oh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm happy to... This series... I'm happy to be showing my uh, struggles. I'm not trying to highlight them, but if, if they were part of my genuine experience with the game. Um, making assumptions about what I could or couldn't do based on games that came after this game. I think it's interesting. And I really, I really, really... Another key, that's interesting. I really um, found that I enjoyed A Link to the Past. There we go. <laughs> Back to the boomerang. All right, we're going to get ourselves a hammer. We're going to make something happen. I can finally go down that staircase. The magic hammer. It's a good noise. When you hit those bad guys. The whack-a-moles. So no, um, what is it, Furore's Wind or something? I can't remember. No Furore's Wind. I wasn't able to just warp back to the front here, which is fine. It's just saying. Sometimes when people talk about the difficulty of Zelda games changing and how uh, the first early ones are so challenging, I think they're onto something. I think it's a little different. It's like the you have more enemies coming at you. Combat is easier in the later games. I think they, they ease up on you a little bit. But I do, I find that I kind of enjoy the puzzles a little bit more in the later games. They're a little bit more. I, w I was about to say thought through. I don't mean that. But like a lot of times, let's face it, in A Link to the Past, it's like, it's not so much a puzzle as it is find a hidden button. You know what I mean? Find a button that you don't know where it is. Or op just pick up the right pot. I'm not complaining too much, but. Puzzles that are based on. Um, logic and are informed by the things you've already learned in the dungeon. Those are my favorites. So I guess some of my favorite dungeon puzzles are like the, um, what do they call them? Puzzle box style dungeons, where the whole dungeon's a big puzzle to solve. Oh, I love those. I actually kind of don't mind the water temple, the infamous water temple. I remember thinking it was super cool the first time I played it. I remember thinking it was hard and I probably circled around you know, 20 years ago when I first played Ocarina of Time, I probably circled around often. This is an odd... Look at this pattern. This is an odd pattern. Two and one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, that's right. We got some fairies. Oh, you don't eat the fairies in this game. They just sprinkle you and then take off. I feel about what I'm doing right now. Just trying this thing out. What can I hit? Yeah, I remember that was a nice revelation. Okay, well, it kind of just came from there, right? 
Look at your map. It's such an odd experience right now because I haven't seen this video in, in, in quite a while. I feel like I'm the person on the couch, sitting next to the couch, watching the friend play. But the friend playing is me. And I also can't change the choices I've made. So sometimes right now I'm like, pull the map up. There we go. Oh, good, good. I really hope I'm going to that staircase that goes down. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Do it. Wow, I thought I was going to... <gasps> no. Oh, good. You can pull. There we go. There's a storm window bouncing back and forth. It's really windy outside right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the recording or not. But it's right here, next to me. Cool. Mm-hmm. So much easier. Just trying. When you see an eyeball, shoot it with an arrow. That's like Zelda logic, but apparently that's more <laughs> Zelda logic in the later games. Or like, um, I think it's so funny how famously, infamously, famously, Goat, they added an eyeball to Goat's back just so you'd know where to hit in the 3DS Majora's Mask, Mask remake. Here we go. Now we got some action. Pardon me. Coming through. I think I'm just at this point just doing it because I can. <laughs> That's fine. Am I gonna use a bomb? Arrows? Yeah, okay. Oh, do we have a key? We'll take it. Classically, once you get the main item, you are supposed to emotionally feel empowered in a Zelda game. So all of a sudden, they're giving me tons of enemies. That were, they only gave me two of these enemies in the beginning. Yeah, about two. So they'd be difficult. And now I have the item that can take care of them. And they're giving me more than, I, more than necessary. Just so I can use the item and feel satisfied. And that's good game design. If I survive... I should start counting how many times I die in each one of these. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Which one's it going to be? I don't think that's the right way to push that. Really? <laughs> of course. Well, here we go. Wow, here we go. Use that hammer. <laughs> and we already have our master key. And here we go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I thought, okay, you know, typical Zelda logic. I'll use the hammer. And that first hit really did crack a good chunk off the, the mask. But then it felt like things weren't... It felt like it wasn't doing anything anymore. I thought maybe... See, that, see what I'm talking about? Cool. Oh my gosh. Am I going to go through? No. Oh, thank you, fairies. Thank you, fairies. Please, David, I hope you defeat this guy. I was thinking, well, it doesn't seem like the hammer's doing anything now. Nothing. Is there a weak spot? Should I bomb it? I think I start bombing it. I think I was really... There we go. Throw enough because that first hit... Really took a bunch off, took a chunk off. I recall switching to bombs here pretty soon. An intimidating boss, but not too difficult yet. 
<laughs> as I die. Please, fairy number three. Please, fairy number three. Glad I found that room. I, I wouldn't be able to play this dungeon without it. Get out of there! Switch up your strategy, David. Get hit by the tail. That's a good strategy. All right. Let's make it happen. Boom. Cool. Now it seems pretty dang obvious. Probably arrows to the glowy thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. Keep going. Watch out. Ooh, hoo, hoo. close call. Bam! Now the adrenaline's kicking in and I'm starting to take bigger risks. Just want to get it done. One heart? I'm at one heart right now? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, here we go. Just take a moment, center ourselves, and get back over there. I just realized I'm not going to have all those fairies either this time around. No, that's fine. Just get hit a million times. <laughs> I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> I should have just gone slow and steady. I, I lost my mind once the green glowy membrane the membrane appeared. Let's get to it. Go up. things but I did kind of get there we go did get the hang of it after a while Boink. not so bad not so difficult I need hearts 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 I don't know about this I'm nervous right now guys looking at this seeing my the, seeing my current state of s skill set my current state of play and my current lack of hearts the um the moment where you're trying to like you just want to get to the boss but you also kind of know you should stock up on hearts two hearts i mean come on I came back the next day and I knew that I was aiming for those three fairies so I could get through the boss battle. So I went over, 
and picked up a fairy. Got another fairy. And the final one, and then head straight to the boss. I almost forgot what this fairy thing was, but I usually try to play these dungeons all in one session, but boy, I just <laughs> unfortunately had a, oh, now the hammer to take the shortcut. I don't think I need to defeat these guys, but oh well. There we go. Jumping on down. Remember, I was just like on a mission here. I was just like, let's go. This is going to be the moment. <laughs> Arrow time. Come on. Yep. Nice. What? I think the screen just jumped. Anyways. <laughs> there. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Moving on. Yeah, I guess collect as much as you can, right? I know I'm going to need those arrows for the big glowing membrane. Making a run for it. <laughs> Switching back to that boomerang. Oh, right, right, right. Here we go. This is where we need the hammer. Just moving, moving, moving. Just go for it. Oh, I don't have a lot of hearts, but I do have the fairy, so I guess I'm not too worried about it. And what do we do? Boomerang? No, oh, the arrow's okay. That's fine. That might be a little too far for the boomerang. Pushing through. Hammer it up. Oh, I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get hit. Huh. There we go. Cool. Taking care of these turtles. Maybe just to look around? Yeah. Keep on moving. Go, go, go. It was, the, it was the upper right one, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. I think this gets us right in there. Straight to the boss. All right, let's make it happen. Oh, right, of course. What? Oh, no. Oh, oh it hurts. Jeez Louise. If I even get there, if I don't get there, this is, well, I guess it'll use up a fairy. Okay, here we go. One heart, no doubt, gonna get hit right off the bat, right? Let's go for the hammer to the face. Okay, see, there is, it's easy to get that chip off. Maybe you have to aim to the sides of the mouth. See, it looks like the front. I can't believe I'm still alive right now. I'm probably not gonna make it through these fireballs. There we go. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We get the fairy back. Glad I planned, otherwise I would have been running through. I mean, that just would have been silly. Okay. I think this is the point that I talked about in the episode, in the season finale, where I finally was like, maybe I don't actually use the hammer anymore. Maybe I just... Oh, because I used the bomb already. I used the bomb yesterday, you could say. Here we go. Boom. Okay, cool. Missed. There it is. I think there's one underneath. Just back to the bombs. Let's just bomb away. Over here. Close enough. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Let's do this. I think last time, you know, yesterday I was kind of staying. I was trying to get too many arrows. Here I'm just shoot an arrow, move, shoot an arrow, move. Hopefully this is working a little better. There we go. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. I'm just burning through the hearts here. Okay, fairy number two, one left. Let's just keep on going. It's a fun boss, it's kind of a cool boss, but boy, frustrations. Oh, 
there it is. Oh gosh, there it is, after all that. So exciting! We get our little super effects looking gem. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. I think the next uh, the next one, if I remember correctly, is the swamp. Be excited to post that. I'll be excited to post that in a week or two, as soon as I can. I have not recorded the voiceover for that one yet. I'm kind of doing these and then posting them, recording them, and posting them. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Check out our season three episodes that are are just starting to come out. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Another Zelda Pod. Instagram at Another Zelda Podcast. Or go to our website, anotherzeldapodcast.com. Maybe you know these things already. Thank you, everybody. Um, I actually did enjoy the Palace of Darkness, and I thought the boss was kind of cool. And if you're interested, go check out our season finale episode, season two finale episode, where we talk about A Link to the Past. Okay, have a good night, everyone. <laughs>